talked about safety and and there are definitely some safety issues we know it's shallow and and there's some dangerous areas it seems like inevitably there, there's always somebody that's driving close too close to to half moon islands sure it, it's well marked is there is there what do you guys think about that is there a way to maybe market uh, better? Or? Well, a couple things. Uh, just to give you a little background, we partner up with the IDNR with uh, uh, putting buoys out in the system. They primarily hand the ri handle the river. They handle the mouth as it goes into the Fox River from from Pistake, uh, which is right behind us. Mm -hmm. um, and then also they do the uh, markers around Half Moon Island. They have about eight to ten of them out there. Yeah. We've recently put a sign up uh, marking reef. Uh, we're going to be putting another sign out uh, in, in the coming weeks. We're waiting on some lights, uh, but uh, we're trying to do a little bit more there because folks continue to have a problem. Yeah, that's great. I agree. It's uh, it's unfortunate that there was an old house there, and you have an interesting book there about the history yeah. of the, the chain of lakes in, in the lobby. If anybody's here, check it out. Um, so there, there was an old house, and it looks like, because I, I went there up close last yeah, year, it looks so like it's not the soft bottom that most people think. Correct. There's quite a bit of stone right around that island. So, right. Uh, and in fact, you can't take any area for granted on, on the system, especially when you're getting close, close to uh, islands or uh, remnants of islands. So folks should always maintain caution when they're using the waterway. Yeah, for, for sure.